Hey everybody, Ann here. Just got up. Haven't brushed my hair yet, and I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee with all of you. So, how did the shower go? Well guys, I took a shower, and it was so lovely. What I did is I just carried in the big, clean, white bucket, and uh, put it by the little shower tub, got all my little toiletries set out and whatnot, and I just used a cup, and I just dipped it in, and I poured it over my head. It's not ideal, but it worked. It was cold water, and the first jolt on my head was like a big shocker, but um, it felt good after that. It was very refreshing. It was actually kind of hot today, and so this shower just felt so good. What I really want is I want one of those. It's like a, a battery-powered shower pump. You put the pump down into the water, and then you've got your little shower head. You can hang it up. Um, there's an on-off switch, or you can, oops, hey, Francie. <laughs> or you can um, put the shower head back into the bucket and just leave it going while you're, like, soaping up and whatnot so you're not wasting water, so water isn't constantly pouring on you. You can just recirculate it back in the bucket and um, then continue showering. That's what I want eventually. I've got one of those on my Amazon wish list and one day I'm going to get one. They're not that that bad, but um, for now, I, I can, I'm totally cool just using a big red cup and just dumping, dumping it all over me. Oh, my bangs. I cut my bangs. <laughs> um, anyhow, I conditioned my hair and I haven't done that in so long. And I would say that I, I don't know, I, I, I may have used a gallon, maybe two gallons of water, um, and I feel so clean, and my hair feels so soft. What's Betty doing now? Oh, the neighbor's pulling in. She just barks at everything. Anyway, it was wonderful, so I just wanted to share that with you, and it worked. I've got a few free hours before I have to head out to work today, so I figured I'd go check and see how the sauerkraut's doing, and as always, I have to check and see if anything else is sprouting. Let's check this sauerkraut. I got it in this little pot that I found. Got it covered up and oh, look at that. It is already starting to ferment. Actually, it's been going for a couple days, so it's doing exactly what it needs to do. There's little bubbles coming up and that leaf is keeping everything nicely down beneath the water level. So, I think that's great. Uh, we got a couple warm days coming up and it's usually pretty uh, cool in this shed because it's nicely shaded but I think I might taste it tomorrow or the next day and check this out guys I found this here I should probably move it away from the sauerkraut natural care flea and tick home spray right on uh -huh. and there's a good bet left in it so that's gonna come in handy good news the dill is coming up let's see if we can get this to focus one little dill coming up there and there's two two coming up right there and oh come on Betty right in the middle she always does this um there's a whole bunch of dill coming up right by my fingers right there alrighty and cilantro is definitely coming up and I already showed you the other stuff nothing has changed much with any of those no peppermint yikes tomatoes are doing good there's two right there a whole bunch right there two in the center and oh there's a bunch there and right there. Can you see that? Right by my finger. So all five spots that I started planting uh, in this bucket are growing. So it looks like I'm definitely going to have to thin them out. Also looks like I need to water them. And I did go ahead and plant. I planted about ten different spots in the back with cucumbers. And I'm going to put some kind of trellis up here so they can climb up it. And then I put two rows of bush beans, I don't know, eight or ten um, 
you know, of those. So I just did those yesterday. So of course they're not going to be coming up. And let's look. I don't know if you can see this, but this is in the spinach section. There is a little tiny green. Let me see if I can zoom in and maybe you guys can see it. Oh, that's out of focus. Come on. Oh, you can't see it. There's a little tiny green thing coming up. But here's the thing. I don't know if it's actually spinach. Oh, it's so tiny. Well, I guess we'll just have to wait. Wait a few days and see. Hot out here. And you know what? I was thinking about this ooh, a wasp um, water catchment system and somebody suggested a safety pin. I don't think a safety pin would hold up so here's what I've done. Hopefully it'll work because it's supposed to rain tomorrow to my water catchment system to get it to not lose water. Just going with the idea that the commenter gave me to use a safety pin, I think she meant just to cinch the two pieces together. I don't think the safety pin would hold up because it does get kind of windy. So I just put both of those together and um, I kind of position the trash can a little differently because some of the rain is going to come down here and drip down this way and some of it's going to come down this way and go into the bin. So maybe this will work. Um, also quite a bit of sediment was getting through so I put two screens on. I just layered one on top of another um, and so maybe that will help keep some of that sediment out because there was quite a bit in it and I've used quite a bit of this water already for watering so man bonus it's a really good thing that I have that because I tell you what it's been hot for a couple days and these beds dry out really really quickly gosh you can't see me can you because I'm not there's the sun it's been sunny for most of the day but these beds have been just drying out really, really fast. And thank gosh I have the, the water. I mean, I could get it from the stream, but just having this right over there, I can just fill up a bucket, bring the bucket right over here and dip it out and uh, water my plants. So it's going pretty good. And check her out. She found a nice, cool spot in the shade. She doesn't care. She'll just lay right down on that dirt. And she has just been resting there all day because it is, you know what, I think it's only 83, 84, but it feels pretty warm because the sun is out. Whew, I've been sweating. Oh, I wanted to show you something else too. Um, this is not a big deal. I haven't really finished it yet. I've just started it. But see over there, right there, I've started a little composting pile. Right now it's just got like rotting wood and sticks and whatnot down in the very bottom and then layers of uh, pine needles, leaves, stuff like that. I threw some old food in it in the middle of it, covered it back up. So I should probably water that but I think it's going to rain tomorrow so I think I'm just going to let mother nature do it. But what I'd like is to do a pallet wood one. So yeah, I definitely have to get some some pallet wood so I can build this composting pile up because it's, you know, it's going to fill up pretty quick if I uh, just do it like that. So that was another project I did today, just a really simple little thing. I just pulled some stuff together and holding them up with cinder blocks and whatnot. But the composting situation has begun. Check this out, you guys. I've got so many ants on this property. It is just crazy and oh there it is see over there right whoops oh you can't see there it is there's my finger see that right there that's an ant hill and that I didn't notice that until like yesterday but it is a big old ant hill my goodness there's a ton of them around here and check this one out I mean, what's the deal with that? A little bullseye ant hill thing? I mean, what? what? Is that the way they start? Kind of like in a circle and they just keep building them up? Well, I guess I'm going to keep an eye on that one. That looks weird. There's my sweet baby. 
Just look at you. You've been so good today, except when you bark all the time. You just bark and bark and bark. You want to go inside and get some water? No? All right. Oh, and look what else I made. I made another thing of pickled eggs. Same recipe, except for I didn't put the onions in with the brine when I was boiling it. Um, and I put in more onions this time, and I kept a few more of the jalapeno peppers in. And so in a couple days, it's going to be delicious. Well, it's been an awesome, busy day today. Got a little work done around the homestead and a little work done out in the city. And I'm beat. <laughs> I am very, very beaten. I'm so tempted to go in and eat one of those eggs right now. But, I mean, I literally just finished some like an hour ago. So, anyway, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.